last time on Only Camo Gaming. Fox, you got a bus going double doors. Uh, medical. Dad, you make your way through the rift. Just blind it out. What do you have eyes on your brain? You gotta set up the count. Obviously, a cover will be in your way. Fox, the game script says it's time for these guys to move O'Clock. Before you get up Lulu, you just remember, they are the enemy. That's not what happened. Kept you waiting, huh? Alright, hey everybody, welcome back to Oni Camo Gaming, and this is your host, Acidic, and we are coming back for the third installment for the Hitman Absolution playthrough. There's some change for an old fool. Yeah, there's coffee in there, you fucker! <laughs> Who's this guy? So what brings your mean ass to my home? I need information. Well, that's my business. Information. You need information, I find information. At a price, of course. Damn right in a price. Of course. Girl yeah. named Victoria. The agency wants her bad. I need to know why. No, wait, 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 wait. D the agency. You want me to snoop around the agency? Were you crazy? Yeah, you crazy. All right, what is it worth to you? Name your price. Listen to the city. If anyone mentions a girl, you know what to do. I'll call you. You do that. Hmm. That sucks. I mean, why did we do the Chinatown mission for him then? I, that's a bummer. Waiting. Yeah, I'm waiting too. Let's go. For what? Still have a chance. I would send in one of the teams, but this is a job for 47. Storytelling right Why did you do this? Do not do it. I tell it to you. Take time to go and run. I cannot be part of this anymore. Is this a scene necessary? We covered all this in the first chapter. to keep you safe. It's a glorified loading screen. Yes. Terminus Hotel, room eight nine nine. Our boy Birdie finally came through with some That's information. Oh, question, still talking. And the answer came back in the shape of a name. Blake Dexter. 
an arms industry VIP who seems to have taken a special interest in your girl. Dexter occupies the Terminus's top floor, and his thugs have the place sealed off tight. Still, a man of your skills and resources should be able to find several access points. Good luck, Holmes. And Birdie basically said everything I was gonna say. So, thanks, Birdward. Thanks, Bud. You go ahead and host the show, actually. All right. You 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 go ahead and be acidic now. You go ahead and wear the Oni camo and and play the gaming, Birdie. Okay, I'm really not that all that upset. There was a little bit of stink between 47 and Birdie in the cutscene. I didn't get that, but I gotta say one thing that I appreciate for sure. Um, is that this Red Bull is hitting? Do you notice how fast I'm talking? I certainly have. Red Bull gives you wings. Whoa, I got a six boy. No ballers? Oh, crap baskets. Did I mess up? Hey, right, what is it worth to you? Name your price. Tools. Oh, shit. This guy's just chilling. Hey, guy. You, you just chilling. Can I have this can? Bottle? Can I have something you're not using? using all that. He's very thirsty. Coming in from the side. Side angle. Who's this guy? Oh, this is a security guard. He does not want to be here. So, uh, yeah, this might take us a second. I'm not sure. Just kind of eyeball it. There's a bottle. Okay, put that up. Don't want to be visibly... Oh, he still got it out. We're going to just be visibly bottled, y'all. Alright, so there's window you can climb in if you take this route. I think that's what I did when I was a younger man. Playing this game for the first time. But yeah, Verdi had some stink, didn't he? He was... When 47 was like, yeah, this is about money. Which honestly was kind of a, a provoking comment. He didn't need to do that. Yeah, I thought they had like a, a more neutral professional relationship, but it seems like they have a bit of contention with one another. So... I wonder if we explore that dynamic any further in the game, or if forget all about that and it doesn't make sense for me right now. We'll see. So I don't remember what the sewer's all about. We're doing the sewer route now. Hitman Absolution sewer run. This shit just got real. Ew. So I think there's a hole. Yeah, the, uh, the X button says ledge. Oh, I can do a shimmy, shimmy, shimmy to the break of dawn. Aww. Yeah, I think this is a dangerous route. I, I, I think I'll have to kill somebody for sure if I take the basement all the way up. Yeah, this is gonna take forever. But we can kind of just have fun, you know? It's not like I have to do all this in one clean run. It's not the kind of show I have. That's definitely not... Whoop! We just got spotted. That's definitely not the kind of show I have. Right, buddy. Oh, you hit the down button. <laughs> Let's throw on the subtitles. I am a little embarrassed that it, I haven't thought of that, actually. There we go. But she's going off on there. It's hilarious. She's going to cut somebody's wiener off. That I enhance the experience. Okay, so she kind of provided a distraction. Oh, no, no, no. That was probably like a one and only thing. So now we can use that. You know, whenever we come back, I'll bang the wrench over yonder and this guy goes back over towards the dumpster. And maybe no one will think it's weird that I'm crouching right here. No one said anything yet. I think it's pretty weird. I look like friggin' Nosferatu over here. Uh. Uh. Enjoy my wrench. Oh, okay. Shit. Hey, don't just stand there. Go check it out. Beats me, man. I didn't make it. I'm gonna use the old lady this time. That scripted interruption is kind of the way. Oh crap. I didn't mean it. Uh, I hit the wrong button. Again, or, oh, I'm done. With one. Okay. 
You can call me Revolver. Ocelot. Loads a lot. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> Damn it. I gotta play this. Play this game in smaller intervals between one another. Yeah, goddamn vandalist, you. No respect for property. If you were my husband, I'd poison your feet. Oh, yeah. How about a little arsenic in with the Yale? Hey, hunchback! I'd cut your dick off fuck? and throw it to the alligators in the zoo. Well, he thought it was weird. And he's throwing me off. Skin of my scalp. Now he starts a thing, a cycle. <laughs> this is tense. At least I still have this wrench. Let's see where these jabronis are headed. Now he's making fun of me for it. Wrench is better. Everyone knows it. Two hours later. Well, the timing was off. I gotta go. <laughs> Glock drew it that wrench. <laughs> I'm dying because she's dead. All right, we're back at the vantage point. I'm not really sure what to do with the old woman in the window. I don't really want to kill her, but I need in that room. <laughs> There's also another side entrance. We may not keep tinkering. Especially if this guy goes off script again. He went off script. Alright, I'm gonna try the other way this time. That is not going great for me, is it? Relying on RNG in a way. So I just realized I could hit a car across the street. I'm not sure what advantage that gives me exactly. And I can't go any further. I can't even pick that trash over there. Oh, hey, what's that? What? There's a gun in the trash? Oh, okay, there's just a gun sitting there. That's still atypical, but I guess this is Chicago, right? Are we still in Chicago? Ch Chinatown? Little birdie told me. I think I'm just gonna walk into the lobby and infiltrate. But... Hey, YouTube. Sorry to stop the video. Check it out. It's the cold times. I got myself a head wrap on. I had some quick channel updates and announcements. But first, last night, I stayed up, like, really late editing. Here's how that went. It's 4.44 a.m. Yeah, I'm up late editing this video. So YouTube has like a stories thing now. I'm not really sure how that works. It didn't have that when YouTube first started, and I don't want to sound like an old man, so I'm going to stop that sentence right there. But if you saw that story or whatever, how that works, I got a new microphone. Bam! So that's going to be implemented moving forward. In other news, I'm on Insta now. So that's a thing. It's the same name, but it has underscores between each word because Insta got an Insta. But hey, now I have an Insta and have like three photos. The announcer for today's episode was my good friend Demond. He hosts Demond Does. It's a show where he interviews all manner of creators with the same six questions, but produces something unique every single time. Fascinating stuff. I definitely recommend it for people who are fans of podcasts. I also heard that he's brushing up on his voice work, so check back in with him in the future to see where that's leading. If you're a Patreon patron, not only can you access the Discord, but you can download some of these lovely tunes for yourself. Anyway, back to the show. Oh, buddy. You're talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, you. Look, upstairs is closed. Off limits. Got it? Excuse yeah, me, there's God, no need to be rude. I, I'm, I'm a guest at this hotel. Hey, you need your ears you fixed or something? Upstairs is private property. Oh, yeah. Just walk I'm away, gonna gonna asshole. And this head. is me being real polite. I'd cut your dick off and 
she's over there going off. Maybe I'll just move this wet floor sign and see if anyone falls. Look, pretty boy. Huh? You got a phone number? You want mine? How about one, two, three, four, five knuckles? Oh no! I would love to fight you, but then I would have to restart again. I'm gonna be the bigger man and tilt my stick. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't even go in. I'm just looking at it. Fudge. Talk to this dude. I have to try to talk to him with my fists. Alright, so upstairs is off limits and I don't need my ears checked. Interesting. I'll think about it. Did he try to Did he try to cut off his own his barcode is still there and he just sloppily put a, a cotton ball and a bandage over it. It's still poking out underneath that glob of blood. I'll skip in you one toe. For the love of God! Gotta love him, man. This game gets a lot of flack for being like a, a goofball story, but I mean, have you played the other ones, to be honest? Have you played them? Because the stories aren't always great. These games are like murder cartoons, man. Tom and Jerry with a loose plot. Oh, I can go in the restaurant. Eh, some of those games. Check it out, reflection graphics. That's cool. Apparently that's kind of hard to do, you know? A shadow box in here. I'm hitting the square button. It won't let me do anything fun. See, I'm pro graffiti. I like art. I like color. And, you know, sometimes people got something to say. And it doesn't matter because property is just an object that shit washes off. It has nothing to do with the value of life. But that's just common sense. People want uh, to throw out felonies for that now. I think that's kind of... I think that's way overboard. I mean, because you had to rent a pressure washer. I don't know because you don't agree with BLM? I don't know. Why don't you come meet me in this restroom and we'll fucking fight about it. Let's just pull some guys away if we can. Oh, look, depending on the run, you might die. So, enjoy that information. We'll see how this goes. Hey, you know anything about And then a simple little note here situation. We got a box. like that, but I didn't like it. Alright, so we're in the laundry room. Fun fact, this is my most recent job. It's pretty cool. Alright, cool. And I just gotta come back here for my suit to get the sound of assassin. And we gotta stay away from guards. You are really cranking my personal space. Or find a different disguise. But we don't want to crank this guy's personal space. I'd like to find a different disguise. Without killing anyone. It's actually turned around long enough for me to change a thing. Yeah. But I think I'll go ahead and try using the guard one to see what I can get to next. Let's see where this takes me. Oh, that's the restroom, isn't it? And there's a guard in there. Which is running like headlong into danger. So yeah, you hey, people put their cigarette butts in here, that's gross. Alright, there is a guard over there. Don't make me, don't make hey, me. Hey, hey you! Hold on, huh? Hey! Who was it? Yeah, go fuck yourself, that's what it was. Man, who's he even talking to like that? He's supposed to be talking to me or something? Shit. 
right, let's see where he goes next. Hey, how's it going? I want to go up. up? Can I bang on all the cars? <laughs> Yeah, I thought that'd be too far away to do something. I guess it's just teaching you that you can do that. I don't know. Center drinks kicking in. Callbacks. I don't even want to deal with that. This range is going down. Mark my words. What do you mean, like a drug deal or something? Well, you get story out of coming down this hallway. Just run. Alright, what's good? This is the deep basement. My heart is beating fast. Now I gotta deal with this 
maintenance guy, but he's less vigilant. He doesn't care that much. I'm in pretty good shape now. I can go almost anywhere. Just need to make sure I don't run headlong into a maintenance guy. That's a guest in the lobby. These are guards. And maybe me, they will leave me alone. Nope, they will not leave me alone. Hey, time for you to vamoose, buddy. Ah, uh, vamoose, okay. Did I restart at checkpoint or restart at level? I'll know when I go to review the footage. But I thought I got a checkpoint there. So, ah, uh, bomber sauce. Alright, let's get a little more red bull and cranberry juice. I'm spilling everywhere. Oh no! It's 2.30 in the morning. It shouldn't be, but it is. So now I know some smooth tricks. Sucks that I didn't save though. I thought that's how checkpoints would work. Maybe I missed something. I'm not gonna be upset about it. But everyone leave 47 alone. He's just gotta use the hotel restroom, which looks like shit. This hotel is in bad game. So yeah, I used to work at a hotel. Very recently did I stop doing that. It was a good job, and uh, it was a lot nicer than this fucking place. I just didn't want to, you know, keep doing that. I don't think it's necessarily for me. That's all I really have to say about it. Yeah, this hotel is yuck sauce. Oh my god. What'd y'all do to this place? Boop. Oh, you gotta activate it. Okay. So once upon a time, there was a shotgun around. I picked that up in the office with the evidence, didn't I? Crap, there's a maintenance guy. He wasn't there on my first roundabout, but they are less vigilant. We can pass them at a distance and be okay. The guards, those suspicion meters feed up, uh, fill up way faster, don't they? Ledge crap. Alright, now this guy. There's a maintenance guy on this level. I think he's going around. Yeah, he's going around. Let's just make sure. Know exactly where he's going. Oh, okay. I cornered myself. There we go. Where are you going, Orange? He's going around. It's cool how the how the path you want to take recontextualizes based on what your disguise is. It's pretty cool. Damn it! Social stealth. Climb on the clothes. Oh man, that's something I wouldn't do in real life. I would not climb on these clothes. I know what comes through the linen shoot. That's something y'all might actually be interested in. I know what comes through the linen shoot, and it's gross. You can name a bodily fluid, and I found it in the shoot. It ain't good. I always gloved up. I wasn't about it. I wasn't about picking up anything without gloves. <sighs> Got it that time. All right. <laughs> I wish I could just take the broom and keep doing that. Just take it with me and go anywhere in the hotel and just do that whenever people are sus. Like, hey, what are you doing, man? Start sweeping. Now that I have the screwdriver, I have everything I need. What is that? I'm gonna see if I can shut off these lights with the screwdriver. It's not a thing. Okay. Some Hitman games, that was kind of a thing. If you had a tool in your hand, you could hack a box open and just start going, going wiry on it. 